Hey guys, welcome to another Today's video, I'm going to be answering some of your hot questions about being the best damn dog mom or dad you possibly can be. Uh, let's just jump into this video, right? Meow. But first, I want to talk about my merch. So you guys have seen that I have, let me show you here. Yep, there you go, that I've made a shirt. Uh, it says, save all the damn dogs. It's trademarked. So don't steal it, I'm just joking. Um, but yes, yeah, save all the damn dogs. And I wanna talk about this shirt a little bit because I've had a really huge positive response on it. And I want to tell you why I designed it the way that I designed it. And then I'm going to answer a bunch of your questions on being a pet parent. I actually, on my Instagram, which is at Rachel Fasaro, if you're not following me there, I posted a question asking what video topics uh, should I do? And a lot of them were actually questions. So I'm gonna do like quick responses on these and then ones that were more popular, I'll do longer form videos on later. Um, so there's some really good video or uh, topics in there. I'm gonna talk about bathing, feeding, training, crate stuff. So if you're interested in any of that, uh, stay tuned. But first, let me talk about my shirt because this is hugely important to me. Um, first off, I wanted to make a t-shirt for years. Um, well, not really, I guess about a year because I've only been vlogging a couple years, but it's been a long time. And I was so nervous, I was so hesitant to do this because one, I didn't think anybody would wanna buy it. I didn't think I could think of a cool, hip uh, design. I thought everyone would think it was stupid. I don't know, I just had a lot of insecurities when it came to creating my own merch. And I did it 100% on my own, meaning I put this text on this shirt. <laughs> I know, it's so creative, but I, I actually designed it uh, with intention. And my intention is that I want it to be loud and bold and in your face. So when I wear it and when you wear it, people go, what the heck is it? Save all the damned, oh, wh what is that about? And then it sparks conversation. Oh, and one of the most important parts of this shirt is, yes, you are part of uh, Rachel Fosaro Fan Bam, but even bigger than that, 100% of the proceeds and profits of this shirt go to my favorite foundation, which is Pause for Change. And that is a Rodney Habib foundation dedicated to researching health and nutrition of our pets, which is so direly needed because there's just not enough of it in the world. And the more research we have, the more knowledge we have, the better we can do by our pets. So you are helping dogs when you purchase this shirt. So thank you so much for doing that. All right, guys, now we're on to the rapid fire Q and A. I asked you guys to ask me questions on my Instagram, which is at Rachel Fasaro, very easy. Um, these are, um, a lot of these questions require more in-depth responses, but I'm just gonna give you rapid fire responses. So get ready, put your seatbelt on, let's do this. First question by Bree is, curious to know what your day job is. I am in a dog food startup. Yes, I'm living the dream. If you guys want to know more details of that, let's get this video to 500 likes. If we can get this video, we, you and I, if we can get this video to 500 likes, in the first week of publishing it, I will do an in-depth review and video on how I got my dream job of working in the dog industry, pet industry, and all about it. If you guys wanna know about how to, how to get into a job like that and what I do, let's get this video to 500 likes, smash that, and one way you can help is by sharing this video. Next from Riley is, how to leave puppy home alone for the first time in their crate without causing them stress. I'll link a video up here on that because there is some skill with that, but the net of it is, net of it is make their crate Disneyland. Don't get them home same day, throw them in the crate and leave. Get them used to it, make it exciting, play in and around the crate, reward them positive reinforcement when they go into the crate willingly and make it a very positive experience every time they're associated uh, with the crate. But I'll have videos up here with more specific tips. On that, where do you get your dog's collars and favorite toys, LOL? I don't know why that's funny. I, it made me laugh. Um, I get them from local independent pet stores. I do have some people that send them to me and uh, brands that will send them. But for the most part, um, I purchase my own collars, leashes, 
uh, bandanas for the dogs. You can see right here I have a coat rack dedicated to um, just some of their bandanas. Uh, Catherine asked, stuff to do with them to get them tired. Okay, here's the trick there. Everyone's gonna say, exercise, exercise, and yes, exercise is important, but the secret sauce is to mentally exercise them and physically exercise them. You do both, you're in good hands, meaning work with work their brain and work their body. Get them um, practicing on their tricks, obedience, training classes, get their mind working. Think about how you feel or felt after you took or after you take a test in school. You're exhausted and that's because your brain, when you use it, makes you tired. Same thing for dogs and especially for dogs. So both physical and mental exercise is key. Next question is from Jen. Tips for first time dog adopters. Um, I have a lot, I will link up here a ton of videos for you to go watch for this. I guess since this is rapid fire, I will say, uh, find yourself a good positive reinforcement dog trainer that you can kind of lean on, like take classes from and get guidance from. Uh, if you're not super dog savvy, I think that's huge. Uh, and then also trying to at least add whole fresh food into their diet, if not feeding them an entirely whole fresh raw food diet, which I'll have linked up here what that means if you don't know, but diet uh, and proper training early on, I think are two very important things. Uh, off leash question mark. So I'm gonna do a more, a larger video on this. I think this is a great topic. My quick response on off leash or my quick thoughts and opinion off leash is I am not an advocate. I will make a video, so make sure you subscribe, uh, click that subscribe button down below. I'll do a video on why. Uh, there's a lot of people on here who believe uh, in off leash in certain situations. Um, I do not in most situations. I'll do a video on that though, so stay tuned. Traveling with your dog uh, tips, and that came from Laura. Uh, Gosh, I do travel with the boys. Um, I think keeping the routine is this as similar as possible, I think is key for high anxious dogs. But I think in order to successfully travel with your dog, you need to start practicing now. So making sure they're comfortable in the car, making sure that they're comfortable with change. Uh, so taking them out for short trips and then working your way up to a longer trip, I think will be setting them up for success rather than just throwing them in the car and going. I'm gonna do another video on that, I think. Uh, next question, Mimi asks, switching is food. Um, but you just won't eat it. We switched to premium kibble. So they're asking questions about um, a picky eater. If your dog's a picky eater, so first off, ugh, this is a, ugh. okay, this is a longer question, but this is rapid rapid fire, rapid fire, Rachel. Uh, picky eater, pick up the bowl, don't do free feeding. Um, the dogs, do I've never ever heard of a dog that just dies from personal starvation when there's been food offered, right? So eventually they'll get hungry. So just pick up the bowl, try again in a few hours or pick up the bowl and try again the next day. If that doesn't work, you can try different food. This person is feeding kibble. Um, you get that a lot where a dog doesn't want to eat kibble because it is highly processed. I do recommend whole raw fresh feeding. I'll link that up here. Uh, but try adding some raw fresh foods into their diet. I'll do a video on that as well. All of these require longer videos, but this is rapid fire. Next question is how to choose the right dog breed for you and your family. That's easy, adopt. Uh, how do you feel that organizations, uh, how do you feel that organizations like AKC don't support raw feeding? I think if you know me, you know how I feel. I am a huge advocate for raw fresh food feeding, at least a little bit in there. I think that those who are not advocates of that just aren't educated and are kind of set in their own ways. And I don't think they're bad. I think that they just don't know. In, indoor, in time, we will inspire and educate all of them. We'll win them over in time. You and I will do that. Uh, indoor training tips to help keep dogs busy when we can't take them outside. Great timing because that's what today is. That's why I'm filming. It is pouring down rain today. Fear for, fearful rescue dog help. That's really tough. I deal with that a lot with fostering dogs. Um, uh, for a quick and short answer, I would say patience. I know that's so generic, but giving patience and time and introducing new things slowly 
very, very slowly over a long period of time and have faith. I've had some of the most anxious dogs that I fostered that ended up being a hugely confident in the future and really successful. So I think it just takes a lot of time and also working with uh, positive reinforcement trainers is big. Uh, bathing dogs, what shampoos do you use? I love two brands. One of them is a four legger is probably the highest quality that I've ever seen on the market in terms of how they source their ingredients. And here's kind of what the website will looks like and I'll, I'll link it down below. But they're probably the highest ingredient and product that I've ever seen. And the second one is Kin and Kind. I, the smells, the scents of that shampoo, mind blowing. The Jasmine Lily, I, it smells like a men's club, I love it so, so, so much, the scent of it. Um, but yeah, those are the two that I love. And I need help getting my puppy to stay focused when I'm trying to train her. Kylie, please watch this video up here. I, have, I, I think that'll really help you. But the net of it is you need to be the most exciting thing to your dog and you start that process at home. Okay guys, so thank you so much for being part of this. Don't forget to click that subscribe button to help me in my mission to save all the damn rescue dogs. And I hope that you have a beautiful day, goodbye.